Schneiderman. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneiderman. G'day Saints fans, welcome back to uh, 2014 Snyder's Web. Um, with us this year, I'm going to start it off with Sam Fisher, one of our greats of the club. He's played 191 clubs for the game. Trevor Barkle met us, an All-Australian. First of all, Sam, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Snyder. Thanks for having me on, mate. No worries, mate. Well, first of all, tell everyone out there a bit where you grew up and, and where you come from. Yeah, I grew up in South Australia, a little place called Barmara, um, up on the River Murray. Um, so, yeah, I grew up. Uh, doing a lot of water skiing, wakeboarding, um, and playing all sorts of sports, golf, tennis, um, yeah, obviously footy. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty sport, sporting background in the, uh, in the Riverland. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. And uh, <laughs> off to a good start here. Uh, tell us when you first moved over who you live with and, you know, if, if over the years who you have lived with and who you live with now. Yes, um, when I first moved over, I lived with uh, Virginia Dunleavy, um, she was my host. Uh, lady that had me on board for, it was only for about a month but she's had um, people in such as Rui and Cozzy, um, Minnie McQualter, Dylan Fitzner, guys like that so I spent a month there and then I moved in with Slotty Luke Penny um, lasted a couple of weeks there and, and uh, moved out of there pretty quickly um, and Why is that? <laughs> No, uh, he was a bit different, Slotty. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's all right, he's good. But um, no, I got invited to go live with Grammy, Jason Graham and Matty Ferguson. Um, so I spent a fair bit of time with them. Um, I lived with Ferg probably for about five years, I reckon, in the end, and Grammy for even longer. Beautiful. And you're currently living with Robert Eddie. How's he go? I'd slop it, slop it, Eddie. Yeah, Robbie's been good. Yeah, um, lived with him in his last year at the club. Uh, then he moved to Adelaide to uh, uh, yeah, play footy in the Sandville um, and he's since moved back so he's playing at Port Melbourne this year so it'll be interesting to go uh, watch a few games. Fair enough. Now tell us on some of your days off, you know, I follow your Twitter, you love your Twitter and your Instagram, um, you've written on there you like to hunt Sasquatches, <laughs> can you tell us a bit about what the hell that is? <laughs> um, yeah, good question. Uh, if you don't know, the Bigfoot, mate, is a Sasquatch, um, and it's what I do in my spare time. I, I don't know if you've seen the show Finding Bigfoot. I find it quite amusing on, uh, on pay TV, so I tune into that most weeks, um, and just like the way they go about their business, mate. So, um, yeah, wouldn't mind uh, being a professional Sasquatch hunter in, when I retire. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, we've got a question here from, from Twitter, from Rob Alexander. Would like to know, is it true that you and Arm are, in fact, dating? Dating? Well, uh, we, I think we, yeah, he, t he did actually take me as his date to the Brownlow, so technically, yeah, probably, well, well probably could have been, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen too much of Armo lately. I think he's given me the flick. <laughs> I think, he, I think he's uh, too busy on Tinder, mate. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. He's got to do something with that putrid haircut he's got now. Exactly. Um, now, uh, back to your haircuts. We talk about Armo having a putrid haircut. Um, Originally, your latest haircut is probably one of the most extremes one we've seen so far. No, no, but you've had some putrid haircuts. Yeah. But your latest one is very interesting, mate. Um, first of all, can you show us? And yeah. uh, that's got no product in it at the moment. No product, mate, at all. It's hat hair at the moment. So How's you do take pride in your image, don't you? How's it looking, all right? Yeah, and no, that looks good. Now, is it true that you went into the hairdressers with a photo of Brad Pitt and told him I want to look like this? I did happen to notice Brad Pitt at the Golden Globes and it was quite a sharp looking do so and I really liked it so I thought yeah why not I'd, and uh, Cozzy actually sent me a, a photo and said you could you could uh, run with this so I uh, yeah took the photo into the hairdressers and asked them to copy it I don't, I don't think they've got anywhere near it <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't take advice from Cozzy on haircuts either <laughs> Uh, also, you do, as I said, take pride in your image. Uh, you're always putting moisturiser and doing your hair in the mirror here. I've never seen a bloke look in the mirror so much at a, at a footy club. Um, is it true you also wax your eyebrows or pluck your eyebrows at home? No, that is not true. We do have photo images of this stuff, so would you like to quickly check if this is true or not? Oh, uh, well, I used to head into man what a fuss nods to get... Get uh get my hair done and they used to yeah they used to do a few things extra that okay. might have been one of them so it is true <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> oh thank you Sam I can't lie to you here mate oh god you know what I'm <laughs> um, can you tell us an interesting fact about yourself that no one would know out there um interesting fact I'd have to say at the minute I I've got a restaurant opening up 
actually tomorrow tonight. So um, it's called Susie Wong. It's my latest little adventure. Um, and where is this? Uh, it's on Chapel Street in Windsor, so just over Dandenong Road, across from uh, the Station Hotel. So it's a modern Asian restaurant um, in it with a few other mates. So um, hopefully that goes all right and opens tomorrow. So looking forward to that. Now just another thing for the fans. Can you lick your elbow? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Can anyone? No, it's impossible, but it was funny to see you try. <laughs> What's your favourite sing-along song, karaoke song? I've made a fall on myself on the Saints website before singing The Gambler, so that's probably my one song that I can sing and know the words to, so um, I've Just already sung it and made a fall of myself once before, I don't think I need to do it again. What if someone hasn't seen it, mate, they'd like to see it again. Just give us a you know, chorus out of it. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. First episode of uh, 2014, Sam Fisher. Mate, thanks for having what us. What a ripper it was, Snods. <laughs> One of your finest moments again. Um, mate, who do you reckon we should do next week? Any, any ideas? Or? Um, well, I'll pick three. I'll go, go with the three debutants. So we'll let the fans vote out of those three. So Eli Templeton, Lukey Dunstan and Jackie Billings. So yeah. no, we'll let the fans decide out of those guys. Beautiful. So, guys, there it is. Sam Fisher's told us. We're going to have them three guys. We'll have it up on Facebook and Twitter. Send through your votes. Until then, see you next time. Spider-Man. Schneiderman. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneiderman. <laughs>